Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can make a movement script for your 2D player. So I have a little scene set up here. I have a sprite for a player and I have a little background here and box collider component added. So first thing we want to do is add a box collider for our player. So go to your player which is hill small for me and click on add component and search for box collider and go with the box collider 2d now we will edit it a little we don't want the box collider to be at the very bottom and i will show you why a little bit later it will help us with our jumping script so this looks good, this should do it. Next thing we need is a rigid body for our player. So go again on your player and click on add component and search for rigid body 2D. So add it and leave it as it is. And now we go to scripting. So go to your assets window and right click, create C sharp script and name it whatever you like. Let's say movement 2D and it should create a new C sharp script. Double click to open it and it will take you here. So in our update function, because we want to be constantly checking if our player is moving, we go vector3 movement is equal to new vector3 input dot get axis horizontal and for y and z we set to 0 and now we can say transform dot position plus equals because we want to add movement times time dot delta time times movement speed and we want to create a public float called movement speed equals 2 for now. So what this does is it creates a vector 3 movement and it adds it a new vector 3 horizontal and horizontal references to A button and D button and left and right button. So in our transform position which will be the position of our player it adds the new vector 3 movement and multiplies with time dot delta time and time dot delta time fixes the frame rate and movement speed and movement speed is public so we will be able to adjust it in unity so now if we save this and go back to unity we can add our movement to this script to our player so go to our player add component and search for movement 2D and there it is our movement script is on our player so if we click play wait a little to load we can move our player left and right and we can increase our movement speed in here and it will apply like this so now the player will move faster there okay so now we want to give our player the ability to jump so get back to your script and we want to create a new function call it void jump and in here we want to say game object dot get component rigid body 2d 
and we want to use add force and for parameters we'll need the new vector 2 and there we'll say 0 for the x and let's say height for the y and we want to create a new public float height and let's set it to 1 for now we want to add one more parameter to this and it's force mode 2d dot impulse and we want to say if input dot get button down and the button we are looking for is jump so now if we press the jump button this will be applied and we want to put it inside of the brackets like this so now what we want to do is put the jump function function and call it in update method so now if we save this and go back to unity and go to our player and search for the script we can increase our height let's say around 4 and if we click play you will see that he is now able to jump if you click space and the only problem right now is he can jump in the middle of the air and there is an easy way to fix this what we are gonna do is we are gonna create an empty game object let's name it ground check and let's move it to the bottom of our player there and we wanna make him a child to our player like that just move it on our player and add box collider 2d and if you can remember we left a little space with a box collider of our player as you can see so now we can take this box collider and edit it right under our player and we will make it uh, really slim like that just barely visible that's it so now we are gonna create a new C sharp script and let's name it ground check but without a capital G you can name it whatever you want but just make sure it isn't named like the game object so let's open it and we will need a reference to our player so go game object player and in start function we will say player is equal to game object dot transform dot parent dot game object and we will need two functions for this script and that's on collision enter 2d and on collision exit 2d and they will do the same Thing. they are gonna check if collision dot collider dot tag is equal to ground and if it is they are gonna do stuff before we continue let's go to movement 2d script and at the beginning let's create a public boolean component grounded and set it equal to false and now we can go back and in this if statement we can say player dot get component and the component we are looking for is our movement to the script 
and in there we want to check for grounded and set it equal to true and again on collision exit we want to set that equal to false but inside the if statement because we want to check if the collision dot collider dot tag is ground and put it in curly brackets and that's it for this script now we go back to our movement to the script and in our jump function where we check which button is pressed we add another condition and that is grounded is equal to true and that's it save that and go back to unity the last thing that we need to do is go to our ground which is this grass sprite for me and go to a tag and click here and find the ground tag and if you don't have ground tag click on add tag and click on this plus button and type in ground and save and then just come here and tag it as ground so now go to your ground check object and take your ground check script and just drag it here so that's it now click the play button and if we did everything right it should work and yeah it does it jumping and you can't double or triple or quadruple jump but if you want to do that you know how to do that as well there are a lot of ways to achieve movement in unity and depending on what we want your game to look like you will go with the different ones i can cover the the other ones if you want to just let me know in the comments but for now i think this is the simplest way to achieve movement and this should work for any platformer games so that's it see you in the next one